Today, we are taking a look at this small and inexpensive LED light. Let's get to it. What's up guys, and like I mentioned today, we are looking at this little sunset projection light that you can get on Amazon for $27.99 at the time of recording this video, and I'll make sure to put a link down in the description if you wanna go check it out. As far as build quality goes, I think this light is built fairly well for the price. It is made out of plastic, which makes it lighter than if it was made out of metal, but I feel like if you dropped this light, you could easily crack that plastic. Other than that though, this light is very small. It can easily fit in your pocket. You can hide it in the background of a shop somewhere. It's easily portable, so it does have that going for it. The tripod here that it comes with is not great. I mean, if it's the only thing you have, it'll, it'll work. It's not like you need to go out and buy a specific tripod for this light. It works with the tripod that it came with, but if you have something better, you might wanna use something better. It also does come with a clip for like a cell phone or a laptop, so if I wanted to, I could go like this and clip it right on my phone, and then that way if I'm shooting a vlog or I'm shooting a video, any type of video on my phone, I can now have the light attached to my phone, which is, which is really cool. I'm glad that they include this with the light. Aside from the quarter inch screw hole that we use to attach the tripod, as well as the cold shoe mount that we use to attach it to the laptop and cell phone clip, there are three other cold shoe mounts to be able to mount other things to this light. There's one on the top and one on either side here. There's also a CT dial and a dim dial on the top, and we'll get to those here in a minute. The back has a type C port for charging, as well as the screen to see your settings, and it looks like mine is a uh, a little scratched up already. It also has the power button as well as a 360 degree RGB scale on the back. It also has a magnet built into the back just below the screen, but it's not very strong. Looking at the front, we have this diffused area around the outside where the CCT or your white light comes from. In the center, we have a lens over the LED and this is where the RGB light comes from. Now this lens will cause the light to project on your wall in a circle shape. So let's go ahead, get this thing turned on and take a look. So holding down the power button will turn it on. Oh, and it's supposed to have a two and a half hour battery life. But like I mentioned, holding down the power button will turn it on and a single press will change your mode. Now right now we're in CT mode and the white range on this thing is ridiculous. It can go from 2500K to 9000K. All you have to do to change it is hold the CT dial, push up to make the numbers get smaller, push down to make the numbers get bigger because that makes sense. It's the same with intensity. You push up on the dim dial to make the numbers go down or to dim the light. You push down on the dim dial to make the light get brighter. Like I mentioned though, a single tap of the power button will change your mode. And now we are in RGB mode and the CT and the dim dial work exactly the same. If you push down, you'll actually start to change the color of the light. Oh, and I didn't mention it before, but the dials don't actually spin. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually holding them down. You don't just sit here and spin them. That's not how they work. You gotta sit here and hold them. But as you can see, it projects a circle onto my desk here and actually let's shine it at the back wall here and take a look at it because I think that this would look a lot cooler if it was like the background of your shot. I like the shape. The more I've used this, the more I've started to like it. So as you can see, it's projecting that circle back there on the wall and I think it just helps to add a little bit of depth and design to a shot that could otherwise just be flat and boring. One thing I do want to point out is the fringing that's going on on the outside edges of this light. All that is is it's the two colors trying to come together to try and make the color you want in the middle. So in this case, we're trying to get purple. So we have that blue edge and that red edge. And that's just something you want to be aware of when using this light. But I think in the background of a shot, this light could look really cool. Even if you're shooting portraits and you want to introduce some sort of color to the shot, I think this light would work really well. Okay, so now we have one more mode to look at. And this is their scene mode. So they have 20 preset scenes in this light that you can use. And this one is police car, I believe. And then we have, I believe, ambulance. They don't actually tell you what they are. It's just a little symbol here. So I'm just, you know, trying to figure it out. We have then what looks like maybe fire truck. I'm not sure, just, you know, guessing. Next is lightning, the lightning mode here. And then we have firework mode. 
TV mode, candle mode, party. I have no idea what this one is. It's just a triangle with what looks like a question mark in it. But it seems to flash kind of like the lightning mode. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like flash, like stadium flashes, like you'd see at like a sporting event maybe, or what. But I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Next we have this little twinkly starlight, which looks like it's just going to fade the lights in and out from uh, on white. Um, next we have another lightning bolt with a number one. Don't know what that means, but it looks like it's just flashing it fast. Same thing, but looks like it's flashing different colors. Here's a camera flash mode. So that other one definitely wasn't a stadium, you know, camera flashes. Here's a camera flash mode. No idea what this is. I think it's just supposed to be a blinking light, just like a blinking LED light. At least that's what the symbol looks like. Then we have mode 15 here, which no idea. H and L is what it says. Next we have red flashing lights, green flashing, and it looks like it's random flashing. Blue flashing is 18. 19 is HSI, which means it's just gonna dissolve, it looks like, from one color to another fairly slowly. 20 is the same thing, but it moves faster. It dissolves faster between the lights. And that's basically it. That is not basically it. That is it for the uh, scenes in here. If you wanna know the dimensions of this light, it's eight centimeters tall by seven centimeters wide and three centimeters thick. And I think this light could be very versatile in many situations for a pretty low price. And like I mentioned, I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in this product. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel. If you guys like this video and wanna see more videos from me, YouTube thinks you'll like that one right there. So go check that out. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.